Greetings musicians, hope you're all doing well. Um, my name is Natalia and we're doing music lessons. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of work with our bodies today and some percussion. So um, we'll get warmed up for that after a word from our sponsors. This lesson is brought to you by the marimba. The marimba looks similar to a xylophone but has many more notes and is made out of a different wood which gives it a more mellow sound. Its notes are amplified or made louder using the resonating tubes beneath the wooden keys. The instrument originated in Africa where it used gourds to amplify the sound. The marimba then became popular in Mexico and Guatemala and finally in Western music where it can be found in orchestras all over the world. Listen out for the marimba later on in this lesson. Okay, um, we're going to start off with a little warm up. So, as always, I like to just take a nice step so your feet are firmly under your hips and just breathe in, stretch up and breathe out, flop over, shake yourself out, blow all your breath out nice relaxed neck and roll up and breathe in and you can do that as many times as you like now i want you to just step one two three four in a nice even rhythm even pulse one two three four one two three Four. And we're going to add in some clapping there. On and two. Ready and and two. Three, four. One and two. Three, four. One and two. Three, four. One and two. Three, four. Now we're going to put it on three. See if you can do it. One. Two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. Now see if you can do it at and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. And carry this on as much as you like. Repeat this as much as you like, but we're going to move on. So what we need to do for the next part of the lesson is get two pots and two wooden spoons. What we're going to do is we're going to take one pot and one wooden spoon and create our pulse. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two. And three. One, two, and three, four. 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 Now on the M four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. idea. Um, what we're going to do now is take away that is just keep this on the and. So we're going to go two each. One and two, three, four. Um, and then two, one, two and three, four. And then we're going to put them all together and see if we can keep a really even beat. Um, okay. One, Two, off we go. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Two, one, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, 
on three, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. Okay, so um, if you're getting on really well with that, um, what I would like to try to do, and we've not done this yet in the warm up, is to try this on a three beat, and that's got a different feel to it, it's got a bit of a sway to it. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two. You can make the one a little bit bigger. And it helps if you move your body like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, and three, one, two, and three. One, two, and three, one, two, and three. Very nice. So see if you can do it on. So we've done one, two, and three. So let's see if we can do one and two, three. Ready? And one, two, three, one. Okay, very good. And can we do, what is the one that we've not done? One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we're going to give a bar of three first. So one, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Excellent. So, um, so let's see if we can put those all together. So we're going to do three each of one, two, and three. Uh, three of one and two, three. And then three of one, two, three, and. Ready. Uh, and with three empty. Uh, three empty beats. Ready. We've been working with beats and percussion today, and I bet you've been doing a lot of listening. But are you listening with your ears or with your body? This is Dame Evelyn Glennie, a world-famous percussionist who is profoundly deaf. Because she can't hear using her ears, Evelyn Glennie hears using her body to feel vibrations caused by sounds and notes. To understand this better, Next time a large noisy truck goes by, check to see if you can feel any of those vibrations in your body. In the hearing essay, Evelyn writes about how she learned to hear with her body. She says, I would stand with my hands against the classroom wall while Ron played notes on the timpani. Timpani produce a lot of vibrations. Eventually, I managed to distinguish the rough pitch of notes by associating where on my body I felt the sound. Thanks so much for joining in today, everybody. If you enjoyed this lesson, why not share it with your friends? Goodbye and see you next time.